The pandemic has spelled out what marginalized groups everywhere have felt for a long time. Our bodies are political. South African visual activist Zanella Maholi documented the lives of black LGBTQIA communities in their solo exhibition at the Gropius Bow, putting their finger on the pulse of ever more pressing issues. How are we connected to our bodies and to each other? And how much of a say do we have in our physical existence? This is the third episode of Full Disclosure, a talk series by Grupa in collaboration with the Gropius Bow. For this special, digital episode, we've invited outreach coordinator Sophia Callista Froberg, dancer MJ Harper, artists Richard Kennedy and Yena Sutela, and the Incanhiso Collective to share their thoughts on body, art, and soul. Who are you? My name is Richard Kennedy. Ich heiße Sophia Froberg. My name is Michael John Harper, um, affectionately known as MJ. My name is Yenna Sutela. My name is uh, Lerato Dumse, and uh, I always like to give the explanation to say my name means love. I'm from the East Rand, that is the east of Johannesburg. I am an artist living in Berlin, working in opera, painting, sculpture. Ich bin Kuratorin am Gropius Bau und arbeite in der Kunstvermittlung. Und ich habe dazu zusätzlich noch ein kuratorisches Forschungskollektiv an der Neuen Gesellschaft für Bildende Kunst. Das heißt CCC, Curating Through Conflict with Care. Und mein, ähm, mein Fokus in meiner Forschung ist schwarze, zeitgenössische, queere Kunst. Und da eben die Perspektive auf Intersektionalität. I'm a member of Inkanyiso Collective. Um, Inkanyiso is an organization or a collective that was started by Zanele Moholi as a skills sharing uh, platform. Um, everybody brings what they know and you just share with the next person. Um, we not big on titles. Yeah, we just trying to say everybody matters and what you got to say is important. Um, I am a Finnish artist based in Berlin. My work explores biological and computational systems, including the human microbiome and artificial neural networks. Um, it often manifests as sculptures, videos or sound. Um, and I am a Jamaican-born, Floridian-raised artist. Um, I come from a classical um, dance background. How do you work with the human body? Right now I'm, I'm working with a lot of materials from, from the human body and, and fermentation. So last year I collaborated with Markus Shimizu, who's this local fermentation <laughs> genius, uh, to make alcohol based on the saliva of a group of people. Um, Spit Drink was a project for eWork in Luckenwalde. I've been using my own body as a way to reclaim my own space, reclaim my own sexuality, reclaim my own gender. I don't offer my body up for consumption all the time. My body is uh, like meant to be consumed in a controlled environment, like through performance. So it's really about letting things flow through me um, and then trying to formalize it after the fact. It's turned into me developing this almost like character um, and enter, this is where the text enters, because then it allows me to hold on to the feeling of the character. Der Körper spielt in der Arbeit von Mohuli, in den Arbeiten und in den Werken von Mohuli eine ganz große und wichtige Rolle. Und es ist so, dass Mohuli den Körper natürlich auch ganz zentral mit dem eigenen Queer sein, der eigenen Queerness, dem eigenen Transsein und dem eigenen Schwarzsein auch verknüpft. Und dabei gibt es verschiedene Praktiken, einmal die Porträtfotografie von sich selbst, aber auch von Individuen. Und diese Fotografien dienen beispielsweise der Selbststärkung, also des Empowerments, aber auch der Richtigstellung von einem Narrativ, der sehr lange von weißen kolonialen Methoden geprägt wurde, wie zum Beispiel die Porträtfotografie während der Apartheid. But I'm like I think that my practice is really rooted in language and deconstructing work systems. Um, and value systems and like imagining like a queer experience, specifically a black queer experience 
as taking great effort. So like being a literal translation of the word opera. There are not very many operas that are affirming me as a human being, as a Black human being, as a Black queer human being. So I'm kind of reclaiming that and deconstructing it and colliding it with like a contemporary experience. My biggest principle is actually rooted in improvisation um, because my body has so much information from all these different uh, techniques. They're all just different languages. Like I think that, like, and it's a, that's my, my, that's my obsession and my interest in translations is just like, you know, whether it be a physical language or a verbal language, I believe that they're all really connected. Für viele Menschen, die ich so dem durchschnittlichen Gruppesbau Publikum zuordnen würde, löst die Salene Moholi Ausstellung so ein Aha-Moment aus. Also es ist ein ganz klarer Aufklärungsmoment und ein Moment der Sichtbarmachung von Lebensrealitäten außerhalb von Europa. Wenn ich über die Ausstellung nachdenke, dann sind es vor allem schwarze, queere Menschen, die sich selbst sehen und die sich selbst abgebildet sehen und die sich sehen aus einer nicht weißen, nicht heterosexuellen Perspektive. Queere Praktiken, damit geht für mich ja näher so, so ein bisschen Subversivität und auch Machtkritik und auch die so in Fragestellung des gängigen Arbeitens. Within ourselves, we don't speak English. So there's, we don't use queer, but we do understand that we are diverse as a people, as a collective and as a community. And we don't follow, you know, like your basic heteronormative ways of doing things. So I guess you could say, like when you look at the English version of queer, that is how we live, but it's not our language. Do our bodies belong to us? Um. I see the human body as a fluid assemblage of medley life forms interacting at multiple scales. I mean, we're more bacteria than human cells for sure. And I guess the, like my project at large is really looking at these sorts of entanglements of, of um, so-called human cells and, and bacteria, fungi and, and the like. Uh, so that really sort of throws the, the, the focus point uh, off from this kind of anthropocentric view. You're in charge of it, but almost in the way like a shepherd is in charge of like a flock of sheep. Das ist einmal für mich so eine juristische Perspektive, also wie viel juristische Selbstbestimmung habe ich, dass zum Beispiel Abtreibung spielt eine ganz große Rolle, aber auch ähm, wie viel Macht habe ich auf die Wahrnehmung. Und da merke ich schon auch in meiner eigenen Forschung, dass der Körper nicht gleich der Körper ist, sondern dass natürlich verschiedene Körper, gesunde Körper, nicht gesunde Körper, schwarze Körper, behinderte Körper anders wahrgenommen werden. Und dass eben die verschiedenen Intersektionen, gerade bei der Wahrnehmung und bei der Machtausübung von Körpern oder auf Körpern da eine große Rolle spielen. Und da irgendwie weiblich gelesene Personen eine andere ähm, Macht und Ausübung über ihren eigenen Körper haben als beispielsweise Cis-Männer. Und das gesamtgesellschaftlich und historisch und soziokulturell irgendwie alles verankert ist. Do our bodies belong to us? Is that all firstly with our parents, right? Because it's like, my child, I give back a piece of my being. Already our ownership is taken away from there. By our parents thinking that they own us, not them looking at it like they're just a pathway for us to come into this universe. I think that our bodies both belong to us, but also belong to the earth and belong to the planet and to the cosmos and like belong to things that maybe we don't understand. Je marginalisierter und je rassifizierter, desto weniger gehört dir dein eigener Körper und desto krasser ist die ähm, Fremdwahrnehmung, die auf dich projiziert wird. I guess as, 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 as queer beings, then we, we, we fight through it and I'm going to present myself the way I want to. But also the universe receives me the way they want to. I might be feeling the most feminine today, but then I go downstairs and someone thinks I'm a guy and they address me as a he. Already they've already taken away who I identify. We navigate, I guess, but can we fully own it's 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 the flawedness of of human beings. I think that this is just like the age of agency, you know, and it's really beautiful to see. 
I sing the body electric, the armies of those I love in girth me and I in girth them. They will not let me off till I go with them, respond to them, and discorrupt them, and charge them full with the charge of the soul. Was it doubted that those who corrupt their own bodies conceal themselves? And if those who defile the living are as bad as they who defile the dead? And if the body does not do fully as much as the soul? And if the body were not the soul? What is the what 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 is 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 is